I really hope you find someone to help. The whole took a battery. Be sure. She wouldn't be standing at all, but not for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. The only one keeping the harbor afloat. Beside the town. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Huh. But there is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get... There can't be a single talk with Alan. I don't have time for you. Hey, a stranger came anyway. to town that yeah. might help you. That's the best I can offer. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. I'm happy to help with anything I can. If you say so. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf, unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. You have to help us. There may have to cry. Hard times. <coughs> You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. The leaves so good.
I thought we were getting along. my tools yet? Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. Stay clear of the quarry. Loads of trappers. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you... find Howard? He died, trying to get those condensers fixed. The man is a hero. Yes. Yes, he is. I'll make sure we remember him as such. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Thanks. Glad I can help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. I'm on the island, you are a curious specimen. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at it? You're good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> You running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve it. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with them. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way, a downright insane way, mind you, that you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. I'd love to change their opinion of me. Do it right and all mainlanders might get treated better. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest 
meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this? Well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. I'm ready to become a legend, then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Meyer Lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway, a treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. Fresh shipping. All your medical insurance. It's time to settle accounts. You hear me, Island? My friend here is gonna even things up. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. Ha <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I wasn't looking to get paid. I'm just happy to help you out. You're a good person. I can see that. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. I'm sorry. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Take one day at a time. You, I, and me, Mainlander? Psst. Looking for a bargain? Let's deal. Of course.
Did you see what you just... Holy... Everyone, everyone, times are hard, but this here feast is proof that we can turn things around. Now I know mainlanders have been responsible for all manner of harm, but this one is special. This one did the captain's dance. It's true, I saw it. So in my book, he's not a mainlander anymore. He's one of us. Yeah. Mainlander. <laughs> So the thing. Just your queen. Well, fuck Shit. Me, right? I expect folk will be more talkative now. Might even have some more work for you. Maybe hit up Mitch at the last plane. Seriously. Thanks, Teddy. You are the most peculiar main person I've ever had the occasion to meet with. Take this. And if you're inclined, socialize. It's your party after all. Grandpa George, torn apart by a fog crawler. The island hasn't got a shred of decency. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The fog. Is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Really, it's no trouble. Well, I hope you know how much it means to me that Grandpa George can finally rest in peace. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt, because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. I'll make that trapper pay. All right, then. Remember... Trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. Whatever. The captain's dance. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Come on and stop. Those tools you found were a joy to work with. It gave me this idea. A cargo freighter founded ages ago to the south. With a bit of arc welding and some elbow grease, the hull could be reinforced to be sturdy. Fierce. Best to do it soon. Before. Well, soon. One cargo freighter coming up. I'd say be careful. But after that captain's dance, how about have fun? <laughs> the ship's the MS Azalea. Expect trappers, mean ones. Once you mop the decks with them, I'll send my crew over. Best of luck.
Don't underestimate those trappers by the Azalea. The MS Azalea is good to go. I'll send the work crew over. And once we haul a piece of the ship here, the hull will be a sight to see. Need general supplies? Get the bait shop. What kind of person just shoots a man for sport? All those trappers can burn in hell. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost, all those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. Please, you can't do this. We've it's been loyal to you. 
and your dedication is coming to death. Out. You need to prove your faith. One of you may return to the fold. The other hey. will return to Adam. See what I Over here. Do. This is insane. You can't expect us to... Will there be anything else? That'll be all, sister. Thank you, Grand Zealot. You. What are you doing here? Did Far Harbor send you? It's okay. I'm not from Far Harbor. I'm from the Commonwealth. Hmm. Quite the journey. So, explain to me what you're doing here. You come seeking a place among Adam's children? I'm interested in joining. Sign me up. Decisions of who may enter our family, we leave to Adam. You'll have to perform a ritual. Prove yourself worthy in his eyes. All right. I'll do what Adam requires. Then let us hope he deems you fit. There is a small spring not far from here. Drink from it. Follow where it leads. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful. Adam reveal something to you? I drank from the spring, and the woman led me to this icon. 
Does this mean something? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? It was... <laughs> otherworldly. The woman, she was like a living shadow, cloaked in mist. Adam above. You really did see her. The mother of the fog. The mother is a messenger from Adam. Acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. I am ready to follow his path. Then it will be so. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. We barely know these people. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. I have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this. We are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother. sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scoff at us behind their condensers. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light no longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot, and with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam's veil will roll down its streets. Holy fog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Atom! Glory to Adam. Oh. Ah, I'd heard oh, whispers of a new convert. Oh. Welcome, <laughs> brother. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? It's an honor, I confess, sir. I'm glad you feel as such. There are many who would squander Adam's grace. Let me ask you a question. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? I'd reach out to them. Try to make peace. Do you not believe we have tried? Sounds like peace would be better for everyone. This island is dangerous enough as it is. For years, my predecessor begged for peace while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that the mother? So the whispers were true. 
You saw the mother of the fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. As will I. Now, was there anything else? Those memories you'd been wanting to access? I found a way to unlock them. You have? Atom above, child. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. Ah, there you are. I have a job for you. Our family has gotten a little bigger. Welcome. Caution, brother. Last child who tried to claim... If you're listening to this, then you may it inside my, my memory banks. Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. The architecture you're seeing is data. My data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? The Indexers have one purpose, to get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. 
You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. has been alerted to your presence. Now things will get hairier. You'll need to deploy defense constructs against the system's active countermeasures. The system's sentries will do everything they can to stop your indexers from returning to the access point with the data. Keep doing what you're doing. Another data block retrieved. Good. Sentry beginning erasure protocol against unauthorized indexer. Intrusion detected. Countermeasures initiated. initiating erasure of intrusive indexer. Intrusive indexer detected. Verifying memory file. 100%. We're done here. We now have an access point into the next memory. Just step into the data stream where this memory was stored. Memory file identification. 0V-9AX0. Converted to audio transcription. Transcription. Beginning playback. I'm offloading this memory. I cannot bear lying to Confessor Martin and his children of Adam any longer. Better to just forget. I found it. The location of the launch key to fire the nuclear missile inside the submarine. Confessor Martin believes it can bring his people into division. Destruction at the hands of an atomic blast. Why these struggles with 
how literal his interpretation of that precept should be. Memory file identification. Zero H dash memory file I memory file I
I can see them. Now, where is the key? Franny, put the gun down. What exactly do you think you're going to accomplish? My job. You're going to give me that key, and I'm going to get paid. Paid? The, the world's over. Are you really... Ah! Ah! Scream all you want, Arnie. Everyone's been evacuated. It's just you and me. Now focus. Where is the key? Run in hell! Down! We can do this all day, Arnie. Fine. The hell's it matter? It's on the boat. Fringe Cove docks. Combinations 44, 6, 75, 12. Now, was that so hard? So long, Captain. Now, where the hell's the release to this door? Sorry, Franny. You're stuck. don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. 
And Faraday tells me that there's been some theft from his office. A certain computer program he and I had been working on. So, you know about my memories. I can only ask you to return whatever you found to me. They are mine, after all. I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub and the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to... remember for myself. So... I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The Nucleus has innocent people living there among the Zealots threatening Far Harbor. I found the launch key already. I'll make sure it's never used. Thank you. Was there anything else in my memories? Some way we can work towards peace? I should get going. Of course. Uh -huh.